We're here at one of my favorite places. It's Valley Martial Arts in North Hollywood, California. And we're gonna go in and talk to my dear friend, Raphael Coche. And he happens to be the inventor of the Kitty Cat Key Guard. He's got some really cool stuff in here. So we're gonna go on in and ask him about some key points about the Kitty Cat Key Guard and see some, uh, see some really amazing things. So let's go, whoa, look at this ninja. Saw ninja. Uh-oh. Ninja lost fingers. Ninja should have had the kitty cat key guard. <laughs> Good girl. Oh, yeah. She's all excited. First of all, I told everybody that you're the inventor of the Kitty Cat Key Guard. Is that true? Thank you. I am a co inventor, yes. Co inventor. That's correct, yes. Okay, well, that works. Actually, my friend Nick Papadakis, and I actually, Nick owns uh, Combat Instruments Limited, a little plug there. Okay. And Ham and I were sitting around and we came up with it. Well, why? What were you thinking about? Um, well, there are a lot of great tools out there for people. Uh, went into for self-defense. Uh -huh. You know, one of the most common ones that people are familiar with are these type. Uh, that's a Yawara stick or Chinese nerve point stick. And it became famous, uh, there was this gentleman named Kubota who took the Japanese Yawara stick, added a uh, key to it, made it into a keychain, made it popular, and everybody calls it a Kubotan. Oh, yeah, 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 I've heard that. And it's excellent. It works really well, but you have to be properly trained with it. Yeah. Uh, you know, you put the keys at the top, you swing them, you're likely to hit yourself with the keys. And the other problem is, is when you hit somebody, you better have a good grip on it because otherwise you lose your grip on it. Right. And so that's the problem with this one. And there are a lot of people, you know, when they say stuff like that, that just might not happen. Um, this is another one's very popular. They call the Ninja Keychain. Whoa. Also, sometimes they're called the Iron Maiden. Wow. And also very effective. The problem is it can actually hurt your fingers. And if you strike something, it can injure yourself. And it's downright steel and it's heavy. I mean, feel that. Oh. So looks, with keys and everything. And that looks like you could really kill someone exactly. with that. Exactly. Well, nowadays all that has changed. And there are a lot of other little handheld gadgets. Um, I think I got rid of most of the little samples I had, but they, they're not comfortable in the hand. They don't really quite do the job. Right. So we're seeing how can we make it better that it requires less training, more effective, and lightweight. Right. So we came up with these two guys. Called it the Ace in Your Pocket and the Kitty Cat. Right. So pretty good, and you're familiar with these. And then, of course, Spice here. I had a great idea with her uh, website, the I Fight For My Life program, and Spice came out with it in pink. Because um, I wanted it, to, I wanted to be able to find it in my purse. For <laughs> 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 and then I wanted everybody to see it, and you know, girls like pink. Right, yeah, you the know? black is a little so, bit kind of... Yeah, but it's pretty insulting when a little pink kitty... <laughs> <laughs> it does the job. Right. Um, okay, so the big question, Raphael, is are these legal? Yes, they are. Technically, they are legal. It's just a plastic keychain. That's all it is. Now, that being said, we are in California. And there are a few other states that are weird too. California being the land of fruits and nuts. You know. <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> there you go. No, not me. I'm not from here anyway. <laughs> but here's the real quirky part of the law. Anything in the state of California carried with the intent, okay. and intent is the key word, with the intent of a weapon, constitutes a felony. Mm. I know that sounds totally ridiculous, yeah. but if you're walking around with a pencil, now you know what you can do with a pencil, right? Oh, yeah. You, you can do all you kinds of fun stuff. You could kill someone with a pencil. You definitely could. You can blind them for life. You get all kinds of damage. But if it's carried with the intent, that's a felony. Now, let me clarify this. If you're walking with your dog in the park and take it easy, you've got this pencil and see a cop, cop pulls you over and says, hey, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just walking my dog. Why? What are you doing with that pencil? Oh, you know what I can do with this? I can stab somebody in the throat with it. Right there, it's a felony. You have communicated, you have the intent oh. of it as a weapon. Or it says, well, you have the pencil. Oh, I use this as my self-defense tool. And you hold it a grip. That is a felony. Now, it's just a pencil. But in California, you have committed a felony. Wow. That's just as stupid as it is. You're much safer walking around with a walking stick. Same thing. You got a walking stick. Cop sees you. What's that? That's to defend myself with. That is a felony in California. You have a walking stick, what is that for? Oh, to keep my balance. 
That is 100% legal. Same thing with this. You carry this and cop says, hey, why do you have that? Hey, do you know this is a great self-defense tool? It's an improvised weapon? That is a felony. It's not the tool itself. It's your intent oh, that communicates okay. the felony. Okay, that makes okay? sense. So you carry this. What is it? Oh, it's just a big keychain. It's big so I don't lose my stuff. It's nice and bright so I can see it. The second part is the attitude test. Okay, you always pass the attitude. I don't care if the cop is a total jerk. They have an attitude problem. Yeah, remember, they have to have that command presence. Yeah. They're dealing with, with scum all yeah. the time, okay? They can't always differentiate. They're human beings. They can't turn it on and off like a light switch. Right. They see you, hey, what's that in your hand? Sir. <laughs> <laughs> or ma'am. Or ma'am. Yes. Sir, I have this as a big keychain. Ma'am, that's all it is. Oh, I see. I'll give you a perfect example. I was walking one day, cop said, hey, do you have anything I need to worry about? Now, why he asked, it really doesn't matter. Do you have anything in your pockets I should worry about? I have a pocket knife. As soon as I do this, you know, he's like, okay, this guy is no threat at all. I am communicating my attitude is complacency, everything's cool. Let me see it. Right. Two fingers, the I fingers. pull it out, yeah. go like this. He goes, man, that's big. I go, no, it's the perfect size. <laughs> I sell, and he's like, why do you carry it? Well, I sell knives and swords. I have a shop, and we give 10% to law enforcement. <laughs> Pitching all the time. Yeah, but right off that, he goes, okay, it scales everything down. Right. He chills. He goes, okay, put it away, put it away. So I go, ahead and okay, and I put it away. You know, same thing. If I go out and I pull out, and I say, man, it's a great knife. Woo. He's pulling out his gun saying, back off, put it on the floor. Right, exactly. So that's the whole thing. That is the, so this is just a keychain. That's all it is. Right. Cop says something, hey, you know, that's illegal. Well, I know some, you don't argue with a cop. Right. He's not the judge. He's not the lawmaker. Right. Okay? He's just doing his job. Right. He may be informed or misinformed. It doesn't matter. You don't argue with him. If he says, that's a weapon, I said, no, 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 it's just my big keychain so I don't lose my keys. And what if he says, that's illegal? Well, I do not believe so, but if you want to, I can just put it away. Okay. Sir. Sir, ma'am. Ma Absolutely. Just well, I don't think so, but I could just put it away if you wish. Right. And that's it, sir or ma'am. Okay. Don't try to prove your point with him. It's going nowhere. Right. He's got right. better things to do. Okay. So that's excellent advice. What do you advise people when they're going through airport uh, security or or other security checkpoints? I mean, what's the deal? I, okay. This it's everything is so weird right now with TSA and everything. It really is best not to carry with you. Because, it's a packet. See, the laws are there for, for, we can argue all day long, laws are good or bad or good for bad reason or whatever. Uh, one of the things is that most of the laws there are to give the law enforcement personnel teeth if they need it. Okay. Okay. Whether it's good law or bad, that's where they, but something it's just better not even to go there. Kind of like with the attitude test with a cop. Right. You know you're going through the airport. Right. You know, this is a potential hang up. Uh, I like my keys with me. But if I pack them in my luggage and I get off the plane, then I go get my luggage and I just take them out. Yeah. The only thing I suggest is maybe keep your important keys in your pocket in case they do lose your luggage, which uh, has yeah. happened to me before. Yeah, no, I've been there. <laughs> so I carry that. like yeah. my car key and house key yeah. in my pocket. Two okay. keys on one ring and, yeah. and that's it. But that's, that's being, but that, once again, that's being aware, preventing, being prepared. Exactly. You know, that's part of um, self protection right tricks I'm gonna give away one of the biggest self-defense oh, techniques. Right drum roll. okay this could literally save tons of people's lives 